Hey there, welcome to this really quick Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to show you how to make this portrait effect really quick in Photoshop using just a few adjustment layers. Um, I hope you will enjoy it, you can use any Photoshop version for this. You can download this image for free on my website, links on the video description. Let's go with the intro and let's get started. You can download this PSD file for free if you want. Uh, again, the link's on the video description. And this is the effect that we're gonna get. We're gonna get, go from this photo to this one. You can apply this effect to other images uh, if you want. So you can download the PSD file and use it as a template, if you will. And I have a couple of examples here so you can see how, what kind of uh, effect you can get or modify them as you like. So let's group everything here. Okay, the first thing I want to do is create a copy of my image and drag it on top of my group here. And the first thing I want to do is use an adjustment. I'm going to go to image adjustment and choose shadows and highlights. This is the only adjustment I think that you cannot use as, as a layer. So uh, what do you do here with the shadows and highlights? Make sure you choose show more options um, is add light on your shadows. See that? Uh, because the shadows were a bit too dark for my taste there and I think this is okay I'm gonna click okay next we're gonna add a curves adjustment and I'm gonna use the auto adjust setting I have a tutorial showing how to quickly correct uh, images basically you press alt and click the auto this will show you more options and here I'm gonna choose find dark and light colors and choose snap neutral midtones and I'm gonna click okay and I'll just increase the contrast a bit on the image, creating two points like that. It's either before and after. Next, I'm going to add a color lookup. For this, you need at least Photoshop CS6. And I'm going to use the DK79 adjustment, which I use a lot. And again, the link's on the video description. I'm going to set the opacity to 37% and change the blend mode to screen. Next, another color lookup. This, this time I'm going to use, the, from the second drop down, I'm going to use the Cobalt Carmine. And this time I'm going to set it to Lighten. And set the opacity to 30%. The next adjustment is another Curves adjustment. And let's go into the channels. Well, let's start with the blue. The bottom point, we're going to set an input of 0 and output 31. And the top one input 255 and 222 for the output and then on the green channel I uh, didn't touch it and on the red channel I added two points one with input 51 and output 61 and a second point with input uh, 190 and output 180 and on the RGB, I have uh, several points here. Uh, of course, this will depend on your image, but you can uh, use this as uh, starting points. 62, output 48, a second point with input 120 and output 85. And another point with input 183 and output 160 and another point with input 217 and output 214 you can see the effect that you get uh, if it's too extreme for your photo uh, just adjust this point to get a normal contrast and uh, go with that um, next a solid color adjustment I'm going to give it a color code. It's 02101E. Set it to exclusion. And leave the opacity to 100%. And the last adjustment, uh, well, the last um, effect here is an, on a new layer set on screen. And then I use the big brush, um, something really big and soft. And with just two colors, something really reddish like this. Just 
a glow of light there. Let's click it with the mouse. Maybe a bit brighter. And a bit more towards red. One click there. Now control um, control T to load the free transform and make it bigger. Actually, we can use a smaller brush. Not that small, about there. Click there once, or maybe just a bit bigger. Couple of clicks there. And with Control T, you can now make this bigger. Like that, zoom out a bit. And just create this big glow of light. And then duplicate it with Control J and flip it horizontally. Move it on the other side. And with Control U, you can you can change the hue of this of this uh, second light. I want to have something greenish. You can also change the lightness if you want less effect. And probably I'm going to change this one as well. Something more towards yellow. And click OK. And that's it. That's how I created this effect. If you want to reduce the noise, you can use the noise reduction filter or you can use camera raw. But this is how I created this effect. Let me show you the original. We started from this and we ended up with this. And that's how you can create this kind of effects. Uh, if you liked it and you can create a nice portrait using this technique, you can tag your photos using the hashtag PSD box, either on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. And that way I can see your images and uh, see what you've done. Thanks for watching and see you next time.